What's up? It's Brian Gubernick with Home Upper Consultants and Abrams International. And today I'd like to talk with you about a topic that's quite a bit different than anything I've discussed in the past. And it's based on a conversation I was having with one of our sellers about a month ago. And she had asked me, Brian, uh, we're about to move out of the home on Tuesday. What ideas or what recommendations do you have for us as kind of like clo as closure, as like the final things we should be doing if in fact we're moving from our home into a new home and, and, and in this case, they were moving to a new town. She said, so what do, you, what do you recommend we do? What have your clients done in the past? And I had to really think about this question, but it, you know, it's a great one because everyone's gonna move at some point in their life. What are your final steps? Well, I had six tips, six, six steps or six things she, uh, that her family can do before they vacated the property. Number one, Make sure you go to all the local spots, all of these places you've been. Get that last burger in of that at your favorite burger shop or that last slice of pizza or whatever it may be. Make sure you go visit the local spots because uh, I'm sure you have many dear memories there and it's cool to go buy it one last time and take it all in. Um, next, host your own going away party. I mean, maybe someone's throwing a going away party for you, but if not, host your own. Who cares? You want to make sure that you say bye to the people that you've been spending so much time with in your neighborhood and in your community. So I encourage you to do that and make sure that those you invite bring their children. You want the kids playing together. It's kind of a goodbye for everyone, not just for you, but for them um, to share goodbyes as well. Um, number three, take one last walk through the neighborhood. Again, I know it sounds, it might sound a little cheesy, but that one last walk through the neighborhood where you could kind of point out where different life events maybe occurred or where the kids played or where you saw that, you know, that, that, that flower that you never seen, whatever it may be, take one last walk through the neighborhood and really take it all in, right? Because these are dear memories. Uh, next, take a picture of your whole family out in front of the home, out, of the, uh, out in front of the old home. Uh, and then... Take a picture of the family in front of the new home. They're kind of two cool pictures to, to have side by side. And it might sound hokey at this second, but I promise, promise you, uh, you will cherish it. Your kids will look at that, that picture of the house, you know, 10, 15, 20 years down the road. And uh, it'll, everyone will get a real uh, good kick out of it. Uh, lastly, what I encourage everybody to do as they're leaving a neighborhood or leaving a town uh, make sure you make plans to visit your old hometown at least one time uh, during the first year that you're gone. Um, visit the friends, drive past your old spots, swing by, uh, check out the landmarks. Uh, the post-move reconnection with, with dear friends is a, is a very cool experience and it also will help your family um, kind of bring closure or finality to the move, right? One last visit after you've moved and just kind of update everybody with what's going on is always a fun thing to do. So that's all I got for you guys today. I, I appreciate you watching. I know this was a bit different, different a topic, but everybody is moving at some time. And oftentimes we forget uh, after, until after it's been too late to kind of take it all in and, and cherish the final moments you're in the property. So all that said, guys, anything we can help out with, whether you're buying or selling, please do not hesitate to reach out to us. We'd love to do an, al an analysis on your home, or if in fact you're in the market to buy a home, we'd love to go to work for you and see what we could put together. Thanks a lot. I look forward to speaking with you uh, real soon.